What am I talking about today? Oh yeah, the bad old days are back, baby. What makes WoW Classic super okay? So when I started playing World of Warcraft about 6,000 years ago, we had to walk barefoot through three feet of snow to Ironforge uphill both ways. Uh, back then, your gear always looked like you fell into the dumpster behind like a party supply store or like a clown college and you just wore whatever stuck to your body. Leveling up took an eternity. And, like, there were times where you would be in a zone, and you would just run out of quests to do, so you would just have to, like, kill enemies, like, boars. And you were broke all the time, so you, you couldn't afford those repair bills. Broke. Oh, man. There's a lot of walking in the olden days. We didn't get mounts until level 40. And even when you hit 40, you probably didn't have enough gold to buy one, because they were so expensive. Like, imagine saving all of your gold from level 1 to 40 just for a mount and still not having enough to get the ugliest mount in the game. And you know what? We loved it. We kneeled at the feet of the war chief for the privilege of riding that hideous mount that was only a little bit faster than walking. But since those hard early years, uh, there have been a lot of evolvements. Is that a thing? Is evolvement a word? No, I don't think it is. Since those early hard days of World of Warcraft, uh, the game has evolved into something that um, you know, there's a, there's been a lot of quality of life improvements. If you need a group for a dungeon, you click, I'm a healer, and then you get a dungeon group, and then you're like, ha <laughs> psych, I'm shadow spec, dummies. And then everybody gets mad at you and kicks you. You know, questing has been streamlined. You can level up pretty fast. Like, you can get out of a zone before you've even really, like, completed certain storylines in the quests. Mounts are super easy to get. They basically just, oh, you're level five? Cool, here you go. This is free. It's time lost proto Drake. Go ahead and have that. Oh, and, the, you know, there's all, like, the heirloom gear. Like, you know, leveling, it, it, you kids have it so easy these days. But, you know, I mean, it, it's, it's nice. You know, you have that convenience, and, uh, you know, all that stuff is there for a reason. And there's so much content, you know, so... There's, there's nothing really standing in the way of the content for you with retail World of Warcraft. But people have been asking for vanilla WoW servers to come back, and, uh, you know, there were underground vanilla WoW servers that were, like, legal action was taken against them, and they were destroyed. And now Blizzard, I mean, they told us we didn't want it, but they're like, all right, all right, idiots, here it is. Here's WoW Classic. This is vanilla WoW. This is what you wanted, right? And, dude, yeah, it's actually really fun. This is what we wanted. It's, it's cool. I almost said the F word. It's a family program. Obviously, people really did want this. Like, the servers had infinite queue times. They were so full. And, like, if you were on a quest where you had to, you know, defeat certain, you know, X amount of enemies, there's a good chance that you would have a hard time tagging those enemies in order to get credit for the kills because there were 50 other people standing right next to you doing the exact same quest. Everything is hard. Everything is expensive. Like, you need a six-slot bag because you're trying to carry all your quest items, good luck. You're not gonna be able to afford it. So like, why, why this, why are we romanticizing this hardship? Why do we want this? Cause it's fun. And the reason it's fun is because you actually need other people to help you while you're doing these things. You know, like you're on a quest, you have to kill eight gnolls and then defeat Hogger. You can't do all that on your own. You could probably get the gnolls on your own, but it's a lot faster if you tap the people next to you who are doing the exact same quest and go, hey, you want to form a group? And then all of a sudden you're helping each other out, and now you're like, oh, we already have a group to fight Hogger. Let's just do that. And wouldn't you know it, like, people actually become friends and start hanging out in the game and talking to each other, and it's pretty cool. And that's what everybody was nostalgic about. And so when you get to the end of a hard dungeon, or, I mean, I'm not in raids yet, but a raid, I assume. <laughs> when you get to the end of that, you've done it as a group, like a team, a group of friends, as opposed to just like a band of random mercenaries who happen to need the same loot or whatever. Some people are funny and fun to hang out with. There was a brownie co ice cream sandwich one that had mint chocolate chip ice cream in the middle. Oh. And some people are jerks. And you know what? Those jerks get ignored by the other people in the server, and then they have a hard time finding groups because nobody wants to group up with them. Like, your reputation on the server that you want actually matters. Uh, you can't just be a random troll or a, a loot ninja and think that you're going to get away Can with I it forever. You? That's what a, a massively multiplayer online role-playing game should be. 
And like eight years from now, does WoW Classic get the LFG tool and get ruined again? And then, <laughs> and then uh, ten years after that, we'll get WoW Classic Classic. So if you'd like to enjoy WoW Classic in its raw, flawed form uh, with me, uh, you can find me. Uh, if you're playing Alliance, I'm on Benediction. Um, my name on there is a girl IRL. Obviously, that's a lie. Uh, and then. For Horde, I'm playing on Azure, Azure, Azure Song. Uh, my tune's name on there is Cerise, C I R I C E. It's a, or you can just have my battle tag. It's Jeff Zeppelin number 1574. Ooh, and uh, the new Call of Duty is going to be coming out pretty soon, right? And that is going to have PC and Xbox crossplay finally. Yes, it's happening. The PC community of Call of Duty players is going to have other people to play with, and that's that's a beautiful thing. I can't wait for that. Man, <sighs> Black Ops 4 was so fun. Blackout was so fun. But, man, those wait times trying to get into a game. Are you kidding me? I actually bought it on PS4 just so I'd be able to get into some games. <sighs> so crossplay is a welcome addition to uh, Call of Duty. Anyway. All right, I'm wrapping it up. Thanks for watching. Uh, remember to subscribe. Remember to listen to Kiss FM live on iHeartRadio. And um, if this is your first time watching a super okay video with me, uh, watch the rest of them because some of them are a lot funnier than this one. Okay, bye. <laughs>